stream of Mecarina. Uh, good times, good times. I've been super busy with work. Cause I, well, cause honestly, this isn't my only job. I wish it was, but I don't have any supporters. But I will one day because I'm gonna be a conglomerate streamer. No, I'm just kidding. Anywho, we are just joining in, logging in, seeing what we got going on. Um, seeing a new update going on there, so we'll go through that again. It is the weekend, everybody. So I hope you have a great weekend. We're going to try to get in here a little bit. See what's going on. Let's get through the main of packs that they send before they finally let you play. And then we'll dig in. Hope everybody had a good um, New Year's. We are in 2023. Hoping the best for everybody. Much good health. Much wealth. All that good stuff. With that being said, I wanted to kind of talk a little about something. When we play video games, we all have our own funny like uh, things that we like to have, drink, or munch on. So I wanted to admit my favorite drink to my fans and everything, or maybe not fans. I don't like using fans, so that makes it seem like I'm this whole person. Let's say friend, my streaming friends. So my favorite thing is I love my pickle juice mixed with... Um, Tabasco sauce and Louisiana hot sauce. I don't know why I'm weird like that. So today I tried um, Tabasco sauce with tahine, Louisiana, and hot sauce. As you can see, um, that is my that is my go-to drink. I'm weird like that. Sometimes I'll do a side of the, um, uh, like chips or something. Um, but just funny side talk for us because, you know, just because we're playing McRae doesn't mean we always need to, you know, talk about we can have our side fun. But that's my side fun for you guys. Little challenge to you guys. Go ahead and comment. Let me know in the comment section what is your favorite snack to have that might be weird while you're gaming. Um, and if not that, just throw a comment out there to say, hey, what's up? Um, like, subscribe for those that are new. Um, Mech Arena is only getting better. I'm hoping 2023, um, you know, we get to see some great things. Before we even begin, I want to do highlights of 2022 for myself that I liked. Um, highlights of 2022 was Clan Wars. Uh, not Clan Wars, but Clans. That was, I think, one of the biggest things that Mech Arena has brought to 2022. We've got a lot of little updates here and there, but the biggest thing was Clans. Thank you, um to uh dev for uh producing that um this is a game out of uh home based out of israel you know much props uh to you guys your homeland um maybe some of you guys are abroad but maybe some of you guys i know as i've seen um are from there so much love to you guys thank you for another year of great gaming um but with that being recapped also let's go ahead and look at also some of our biggest mechs We've got Gatecrasher that came out. We've got uh, Tangu that came out. We've got Redeemer, Bastion, Aegis, um, and we've got Orion. I'd love to see, you know, your guys' comments and feeds on what do you think was your favorite uh, mech uh, for, uh, for, uh, for 2022. What was your biggest thing that you like disliked go ahead and put that in the comment section you know this is just good community talk that we can have you know to kind of share um you know as we keep going on i've got a lot to still work on um so far i'm sitting you know with somebody who you know obviously i don't put do gobs and gobs of money but i do put a little bit in here so i'm working with what i got um this is all i want you guys to know i the reason i put money into this game is not only to give back to the game but i also want my those that you know and i don't have a lot but those who do watch these videos i want you to know hey i'm trying to give you the best quality video i know it's not the best but i'd like to put some money in there to show you guys i do care about you guys and i do care about you guys getting tips and and actually good tips so let's run down for the year's best we have got panther sitting at a level two fully startup we are almost there um, with Disc Launcher 16s and Disc Launcher 8s. I will say this um, for those who are wondering, hey, Disc Launchers, are they worth it or are they not? They are very worth it. 
Um, and um, I would say, uh, you know, with that, uh, up corn, it gets the juice. Okay, that's a little just fun back. But um, let's get back here. Let's get back here. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I lost my. Key. I would also say, when asked about disc launcher, sixteenth, uh, get them both, and this is how you'll feel when you get both. Yeah, that's how them just launch make 16s feel. Again, this launches will make you feel like this. You know you love them. You know you need them. Yeah. You tell them. Them this launchers got the juice. Yeah. I had to give it to you guys. But anywho, so I had to. Let so recap on that um, when it comes down to um, what you guys are going to want. Um, I got 16s and 8s. Um, I have both set of 8s. I did not get 12s. Um, I did a little bit of research and I actually went against my own research um, and got the 8s. Don't know why. Maybe I was just being stupid at the time. Who knows? But I will say this to say that, that this launch for 16s, two of them. Um, are um, much needed. Yes, I see my buddy in the background being funny. Um, uh, but, uh, well, I will say this is eights are not going to put out the optimal amount of uh, damage you're going to need for end of game when you start getting up to the guys that have all their mechs uh, leveled up. Uh, so, um, I would go ahead if I were you to go ahead if you can get a set of 12s start with those don't even get 16s like I did um, but yeah like I'm saying two set of 16s you end up needing um, I would say the 12s will incorporate with the 16s um, for those uh, for those who need to incorporate that for energy level wise okay um, now you'll see a lot of top uh, end guys they're using the Panther Panthers coming out about 70 to I think about 85 90,000 K peaked out HP um, Which you know still is going to compete, but no a lot of people use uh, Panthers skill ability um, to be able to throw those disc launchers down um, If you can go ahead and have um, either a skill reset a cooldown reduction or a um, a uh, Ooh, my mind just went, um, or have a reload re a reduction time on your disc launcher. So that's my 2022, you know, recap on those. Um, this is just an easy setup that I see a lot of people doing. Um, and you get Panther at an early um, part. He's still good at, at end of game. So, you know, I would recommend that. But again, like I said, um, for my uh, mistakes and everything, you know, uh, and you see, I'm, I'm rocking with this, the 16 and 8s, but I wish I would have went with the 12s first and paid for that because you do, unfortunately, have to pay for the 12s and um, 16s. And it's more um, end of game better to have 12s and 8s because you can have a better combination, um, especially when you're crunched for uh, energy as I was at the time and is the reason that I have what I have. But uh, yeah, so let's keep going on with that. We've got where we're rocking and rolling. Our kill shot sitting um, not as high as I wish it would or I should um, because uh, you know you get kill shot at the beginning but uh, I don't see a lot of end of game guys that are you know really utilizing kill shot because he does fall short HP wise um, now I do see some guys that do still use them for the close quarters combat but I think with as many as mechs as they give us there's a lot better choices for kill shot um, you know, and, you know, the bottom line about kill shot when it comes down to it uh, is you're not going to have the highest output of energy um, with HP only sitting at 71,000. Now, you may say, well, hey, you know, if you go back to uh, Panther, you know, uh, oh, my apologies, guys. 
You go down to Panther. Panther's only sitting at 71,000. The only difference is um, Panther, you know, um, per se, has uh, the shield, which if you use it correctly, you're able to lob down um, damage where obviously kill shot, you're not going to do that. Um, currently, I am still sitting with shotgun eights. Now, guys, know this that I am just getting those shotgun eights that peak out about 50,000 um, hit points. But um, I'm just trying to get those all the way up so I can end up getting those to Tangyu once Tangyu's energy is up. Now, the reason why is, as you know, Tangyu can jump, can jump behind an enemy at close range and get that double max um, damage, and also at the same time has the stealth. Strike ability meaning that nobody's gonna be able to target you this launchers are a targeting base You're not going to be able to do that um, Tang is one of those better ones that yes, you have to pay for but if you can um, You get those shotgun nades on there. You're just ripping and roaring um, Also, you know, I've seen a lot of videos where once you get your shotgun eights up to a certain um, amount of uh, power and whatnot it, you really literally don't even have to aim totally on a person and you're going to hit them and i mean it's just devastation don't take my word for it if you don't want to but go look at other videos of guys that are a lot better means shotgun eights um they are a go-to quarter and even you know if you look at um one of the pre mechs that you can have which is lancer lancer at a high level with the um jump boost um implant i mean you can just rip tear it tear through people through shotgun eights so don't don't first to hand always deviate from a a mech being bad it's all about what is your skill and what are your implants you know um but 22 recap again please don't make fun of it but by telling you sitting with arc torrent sixes um end of game i'm sorry to say you know i got these and i was so happy because i was trying to not really make or use any money at the beginning of me playing my new account so I stupidly bought the Arcturn 6s. Are they bad? No, they're not bad, but um, come end of game, they're not going to be as good. I do have the 10s and 12s, which are amazing. Um, I won't be using those, you know, sadly with that. So as you can see, my Mina does have a um, an Arcturn implant. I'll be, I'm will be i going to be changing that out either to hopefully what I would want as um, a skill strike, skill um, reset reduction time which would be nice but um, you know getting those gold implants the percentage is real low but I do have an ability damage which I'm going to tell you guys this if I hit you with my Tengu um, jump shot uh, he's going to take at least a quarter to about um, uh, about a quarter out of your your health and then I'm going to hit you from behind it and just take the rest of the way um, I, I get anywhere from five to six kills per Per time when I do them um, obviously I have that ability cooldown um, I'm hoping um, that um, I'll get that up to an epic because the basic is only sitting um, with the last bit at 12% um, if we go over here to implants and if you guys ever want to see you know hey what can I do better you guys can see the different level of grades of implants um, which I'll show you and you can see, you know, is it worth me keeping this level of rarity of implant in there? A basic one is is never, you know, is it good at first start? One is better than nothing, meaning if you don't have anything, use it. The only problem is you got to remember you're using a lot of pilot points, which is these right here, guys. Um, the the implant parts right here to upgrade those, which I know it, it's, it stinks, um, but it is what it is. You got to climb yourself up there um i'll end up changing my tangyu from the arc torrent damage to maybe shotgun which is preferred but um sadly to say i haven't got a shotgun i, I want to use a um a distance because i did have one in there a basic and i'm gonna tell you i didn't have to aim at you and i could be quite a ways away and if i got you you were done for and this was sitting at just a basic so that's what i'm gonna set um uh, tangy with for 2023 that's my goal with it Next comes in my gate crasher. I'm gonna tell you guys this. This has been probably one of my favorite mechs that I now have got in. Um, the um, the skill that he has. Oh, and I accidentally got out of there. The um, 
Uh, you guys are probably like, man, this guy's so old. He doesn't know how to do it. The Ion Pod, I'm going to tell you guys this in close quarters, long distance. If I aim at you, this Ion Pod is going to get a hold of you. Um, it does take down um, most shields all the way, plus maybe an extra probably one to 2,000 energy, if that. But just having the mere fact that I can take out somebody's shield um, is pretty nice. Now, not everybody has shield. What I'm talking about that, you're like, what are you talking about shield, guy? You sound new. We're talking about, uh, you know, our good old um, Ares. We're talking about our good old uh, oldest tank of all, the Juggernaut. If I get, you know, his Ion Pot on you, it takes that out for me. I can I can literally hit anybody from anywhere on the field. You can be on the, on the other side. If my um, tick mark or my, basically my, my uh, I'm, I sound so stupid on this, but my, um, my, my shooting mark points at you, I, I have a, a pretty good, probably, I would say about 75 to 80%. Um, when I point, one, once I point at you, come or, or not, if there's any objects in front, that lands at you at six on you, and it's going to take a good amount on there. So, Gatecrasher has been one of my favorite for 2022. I mean, he just lays down. He's very I've been using lately on open field rock mortar 12s, which I was using um, my uh, rack noise. I will say this to say this. I think Gate Crasher. No, I don't think I know because I played a rock noise so much and I loved him for so much. He's a free uh, character and you got to love the turd. But when you're really trying to lay those rock mortar 12s, as long as you're not shooting both mortars off at the same time and you're doing it simultaneously, if there's another mortar guy on the other side of the map, I can outmaneuver um, probably about three quarters of the mortars that are coming at me. You're not going to be able to do that with um, a lot of the other mechs. Um, and if I do, you know, if I don't outmaneuver, I at least outmaneuver one. So that's what I've noticed about Great Crasher for mortars. He's very versatile. I have been using also um, uh, the uh, good old. Uh, Railguns, uh, he's good for that, despite Railguns being very low. Um, another one that's been shown a lot is EM Rifle 16s. The good thing about Gatecrasher, he is very versatile. He can take a hit. Um, so even if you do get a hit from uh, a sniper, you're not going to be so much as just dead in the water right away. Um, so versatility-wise, I think Gatecrasher is one of the best versatile um guys on there i'm hoping um i get some different implants because if you notice i still have face sitting at um uh a redox uh setup which is totally wrong i need to get rid of that yes i look like a noob don't make fun of me whatever uh, chicken feather um and then last but not least um which is probably some other people but it's guardian you know you've got that skill reset um a little slow on the on the on the the end of it um, now I still have for some people who have been um, watching my videos I still have a mech that um, I want to use and get into and that's um, Guardian um, my Guardian you know to be honest um, where he's sitting at star level wise and injuries I don't have him enough where I'm just like oh I want to put him in the game um, I want to get him star leveled up because his um, backtrack uh, skill is amazing because literally you can shoot off, you know, any kind of weapon that you're going to do long distance, whether it be um, lasers or snipers, um, one set of mortars, two set of mortars, one being high level energy, one being low. Um, and then you use that backtrack. And, you know, if somebody's got you pegged out right there, you'll be able to miss that. The backtrack, I've seen some guys that just, man, they backtrack um, some of those rocket launchers and you, you'll never be able to get them. He's a... Redeemer, I would say, is one of the most elusive uh, mechs. Still one of my favorites. I still love how he looks. I just haven't played much gameplay time with him because, you know, sadly, but but truly, you know, uh, he is he starts out when you first buy him as only having 28,000. Um, but I will say this to say that um, he end caps out at 99,000. Add another 30,000 with a 40,000 for the 40. 40% buff, you're going to get about another 20, 30,000 on there. 
Um, and with that being said, you know, he's going to outdo your... He's going to outdo your kill shot. He's going to outdo your panther. So he definitely is an end of an end of game um, mech that can hold his own. Unfortunately, when you get him, unless you buy um, the skill up packs, which I, I hate doing because, you know, yeah, you get a couple stars up, but they do get kind of expensive. And, you know, like I said, I only buy enough so I can show at least some of you guys who are free to play and some of you guys who are lower paying like myself. You know, it, 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 you know, support for me as the producer of my streams to say, hey, I appreciate you guys taking the chance, the time to look it out. But anywho, with that being said, that is my 22 lineup recap. I appreciate you guys. You know, um, I'm hoping Clam Wars will come 2023. Um, our latest update that we got um, for good old 2023. Um, let's go ahead. And this is... Uh, basically our newest update it is update 2.221 um, and basically deathmatch MVPs MVPs in both five to versus five and two versus two death matches will now be calculated using scores and three categories kills assists and awards um, now this is not something I pay a lot of attention to why because I need to be a better pay or attentioner uh, streamer <laughs> Because these are things that, you know, differentiate between one stream and another is being able to really know the game that you're streaming. And me being this is my favorite game, I need to pay attention. So I apologize to you guys. But I'm assuming that uh, with the categories being different, um, that um, death deathmatch MVPs, MVPs in both five types will now be calculated using. So maybe... What I would assume by this is only one or two of the um, the MVP uh, were were calculated by certain criteria. May maybe before it was only kills. Maybe before it was only assists. Maybe you know what I mean. So I didn't really pay close attention to that. I apologize to you guys. Um, other things that we got here, not major stuff, but we got. Uh, now I've you know I've I've heard people have seen glitches. I know um, a couple of weeks ago we had a tournament glitch where you would try to collect uh, your tournament awards and it would have some thing that would come up that would say um, get tournament awards or something like that, and then you totally had to get out of the game. Uh, I've seen that glitch, but um, you know from somebody who's been playing this for a while, I don't see a lot of these glitches that people say, but. We've got uh, issues concerning notifications appearing on the clan button in the hangar. That's how it looked on the tournament. Also, um, notifications so that missed ones will appear when you are online again. Um, I have seen this sometimes, but I think it was a long time ago where I seen a notification would come and then if you actually it would be gone. Um, also, we've got another bug fix of the clan list tab will not show the clan request button for clan leaders anymore. Um, okay, I didn't see that. We rectified a bug and error pop-ups that sometimes triggered after creating a clan i didn't see that myself either um and then text displayed in the weekly clan damage tab when viewing it is using a three by two um duration and then clan power parameter and different tabs have been adjusted um and we've got uh, a, a couple we've addressed an issue causing splash damage to, throughout juggernaut's personal shield I haven't seen that because I haven't really used uh, Juggernaut. I know, shame on me, guys. I apologize. Um, and then the pop-up that appears after a clan member is removed due to NXT will now go to the right member. Cool. So I'm not a clan member, so I haven't seen that. But that is just new 2.21 update for 2023. Um, you know, like Macarena and the dev has told us, our creators, that it is only going to get better. And I totally believe them in that. But let's, with that being said... Let's go ahead and collect our awards for today. Um, we've got our normal division season going on. Our the new uh, NAD launcher is uh, oh minigun damage. I do have minigun to be honest, you guys. I have not used it. I've got minigun eights. Um, I'm gonna work to get those up because I seen um, somebody the other day. We're gonna go ahead and go into control with um, uh, let me see if I can get these guys uh, on here hold on streaming 
Nah. Oh. So that is something, ooh, that just irks me about this game. And it has since day one. Chat coming in and chat going out. It goes out and it doesn't come back. I, I would like to see. Let's see what we got here. Um, I definitely would love to see um, the chat um, ability to continue. Uh, let's see where are they going. You either go on the left. Sometimes people go on the right here. Um, let's just get a shield going on here. And we've already just got a brave soul wanting to come in the middle. I think he's a Rambo Bambo. I like Rambos. Rambos make me feel happy. I know you're not Rambo, but I like when you act like Rambo. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I would like to see, um, He's getting marked up in there. I would like to see them uh, do an upgrade on the game here. Now, I know a lot of people use Discord. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm. Discord is not a bad uh, platform. The issue I have now, you know, some of us may have more than others. I sadly to them, I'm not going to try. Like, I've got the. Like they've got past my shield. I don't, I don't have the latest greatest thing ever, but I have one, one that I would say it doesn't work too bad. Um, see the gun behind our line here. That stops him right there. And that guy's gone. What I was going to say is, once you really start adding um, this external. Uh, We call them um, already at seventeen sixty, which I don't get that. Uh, this is so choppy. You just come out here and just. There. But anywho, what I was going to say is you start having all those other, um, uh, systems out in chat. Who does seem to be uh, in a chat? So I would definitely like to say, but you know, the argument I said too is, you know, um, I had a really team on this one. So he just did four of them. I used to go right there. That that really stank. But um yeah, when you start adding other chat versions in here and whatnot, and depending on the you have and um I notice it really does run down um the Mech Arena game, but you no, know, it's. I mean, maybe you've got a good phone. Maybe some of you have uh, ideas of how to make those. Let me know. I mean, you. Um, that is this. Uh, it for this video. Um, I'm gonna come right back on here uh, to uh, another um, Brian and Brian. Um, just me playing in the background, but you guys, we're 2020. I'd love to see you subscribe for the that are see me um, on what you'd like to see. Do a little bit better. Give me some ideas of better um, uh, stream um, on here. I'd like to make a uh, better environment and better for you guys because what it is about stream guys it's fun for us um and and we really appreciate for those and and i might not have a lot but for those who have helped me i appreciate it and uh again like subscribe i will see you here in a couple minutes for some grind so get ready to cry because my tank is coming um we'll see y'all